Hey, what's up guys? It is Slick or Slick Muff here back again with another video. And one of the things that I get asked the absolute most to talk about is the Damian Wayne Batman video game. And I can say today, there is actually a little bit of news, not news in the sense that WB is officially announcing anything, but news in the sense that somebody who knows what's going on with the game is providing information about what we can expect from the game. And that of course is Jason Schreier of Kotaku, who's been talking about the game for years. Um, as many of us have been, to no avail in regards to getting an announcement. And his announcement today gives us a little bit of insight as to why we have not exactly seen the game. So, Jason Schreier said, The last thing I heard, the Damian Wayne game was changed to be a different Batman game. I can't say for sure what they're doing, though. So, this is not, per se, a cancellation of a Batman game entirely, but only of the Batman game that we've known and that I've been discussing for the past several years. Uh, it, it's insane to think about that I have been talking about this game for several years. It's true, and, you know, the game was, of course, rebooted, basically, is what Jason Schreier is saying, is that we're still getting a Batman video game, we're just not getting the Batman video game that we thought we were getting, and that game being a Damien Wayne Batman game. And I remember a long time ago, when I initially got in contact with the first source that I had on the game, and... I was being told the things that I was being told about the game that I've shared with you in the past, you know, uh, the main thing being Damien Wayne is, is being Batman, and I thought it was very odd, and of course I, I met this with a great deal of skepticism. I was pretty confident that it was not true. Um, as time went on, as you know, I became uh, I, I became to realize that it was actually true. It was 100% true. Um, w Montreal was 100% making a Damien Wayne Batman video game and you know even Greg Miller in his show I'll actually play a clip from it here talks about how he had heard about the game as well now Jason Schreier all right we're back where should we begin for you any of these, these I'm, are gonna, good questions. I'm gonna jump to Alex because okay. this is one that is, I like it to talk about okay. a lot on this show Alex writes in to kind of funny.com slash KF GD and says question for Jason from Kotaku I first heard about Rocksteady possibly having a new Batman game from you months ago and nothing has been talked about ever since then. I'm in need of some Rocksteady or Rocksteady WB Montreal Batman news. Do you have any? Please give us some kind of update on what either studio is doing with Batman or even DC characters. Thank you and keep up the good work, Smiley Emoticon. Alex, you did not hear about Rocksteady possibly having a new Batman game for me because I have not said that because Rocksteady is not working on a new Batman game. What are they working on? I don't know. Uh, I've heard some rumors. I don't want to share them. Sure, you haven't confirmed them. I understand. You, you gotta exactly. vet them. You gotta I don't want to spread rumors that might not be true. Um, so I will say what I have heard, what I've reported on Kotaku is uh, last year or two years ago, I wrote that uh, Warner Brothers Montreal, which has not shipped anything since Arkham Origins. Which was like a long time ago. Yeah. So they were working on a Suicide Squad game that was canceled, as I reported in Kotaku. They switched, they pivoted to a Batman game starring Damian Wayne. Since then, I have heard that that was either canceled or rebooted or in flux, and that they might still be working on a Batman game, but not featuring Damian Wayne. Mm. Don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure they're working on something involving Batman. Rocksteady doing who knows what, not Batman. Also, I get a bazillion DMs from fucking people who are just like, Rocksteady, Rocksteady, tell me everything. Those people are insane. And side note, I'm playing Arkham Knight right now. Very, very good video game. Yeah, I will really say, good video Rocksteady, game. those guys know how to make games. Um, so I'm excited for whatever they have. When do you think we hear from them again? Is it the C3? Yeah, Ooh. I think so. I think it's time. Um, we have an, Arkham Knight came out in 2015, so it feels yeah. like about time for them to reveal something for like 2019. Yeah. But that's just a guess. I don't have any inside info on when yeah, they're Yeah, that sounds about right. I feel like we're getting there. They keep being coy on their Twitter yes. with their mocaps and yes. their milestones. And they act like they're not yeah. teasing, but they're teasing they're something. They're teasing. Um, Warner Brothers Montreal has been in a tough spot. They had a management shakeup uh, a couple of years back. So uh, TBD, what will happen there? I'm, I'm hoping for the best. Yeah. The rumors I've heard about the Montreal stuff mm -hmm. seemed to go on forever mm -hmm. you know what I mean because I was talking to friends who had been had connections or this that or the other and yeah. it was the same stuff you're talking about mm -hmm. I'd heard at one point they were trying to pivot it to a Justice League game but that mm -hmm. didn't happen and then I knew yeah I heard about Damian Wayne stuff around the time you were reporting it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we'll see I, as I've always said Arkham Origins criminally underrated so, W Montreal, without a doubt, was creating a Damian Wayne Batman video game, and this made a lot of people scratch their heads. Even the most, you know, avid Batman Arkham fans were a little bit like, I don't know how excited I am for this, but a lot of people are still very interested about it because it's a Batman game. And I think that this is something, you read the title and it seems like very bad news, but it actually may be great news. Because what this means is that this game that would have most certainly divided you know, the community and, and half the people would have hated and think that's dumb and want Bruce Wayne. 
Not to say that they're going to go back to Bruce Wayne, we have no clue what they're going to do, but Jason Schreier is still saying here it's being changed to a different Batman game. So even though we can't say for sure what it is, my speculation is that it is going to be a Bruce Wayne Batman game. I mean, this is just common sense here that, that they would do this, and it's it was a very oddball thing that they would go with Damian Wayne in the first place. I think it would have been an interesting direction to take, especially if you have Bruce Wayne in the game as a sort of mentor figure, maybe a little bit older, you know, these kind of things. I think the game could have worked, clearly it didn't, and I don't know at this point, is WB Montreal just incompetent? Like, do they not know what they're doing? I mean, this is, they cancelled the Suicide Squad game that evidently was, like, really far along in development. They've cancelled this game, it's been five and a half years since their last title. It's a little bit concerning. Like, you know, it just makes you think, like, do they know what they're doing? I mean, how do you invest millions of dollars and in, in five years of manpower into a game, multiple games that don't work and you just can them? It's a little bit strange. I don't think that B Montreal is incompetent. I think that they're trying to create games in clearly bold new directions. And I will say, this is, of course, not necessarily easy to confirm. In fact, I have no proof of it. But I will say that I think... There's a great deal of feedback that the fans gave after this was being leaked excessively on the internet, right? You know, YouTube channels were talking about it, myself was talking about it on YouTube, and getting, you know, a lot of a lot of attention talking about the game. Jason Schreier is talking about it online on Kotaku. He's getting a lot of hits talking about it as well. So people had known about the game. I mean, it, it wasn't like a secret, okay? Which usually is not grounds to cancel a game, okay? Usually just because a game gets leaked doesn't mean we're going to cancel it. But... The feedback was so excessively mixed, it, it wasn't negative, but it was very divided. I think that WB was a little concerned about that, and they maybe saw the feedback and a lot of fans saying that, hey, we're not so sure we're actually going to like this game, and, you know, I think that definitely created some alarm in WB. That mixed with the fact that the game probably was not going very well, that being like certain design goals were not being met, or you know, the game just wasn't working the way they wanted it to. I, I have a hard time believing that the game wasn't working in regards to gameplay, because it's not like they already have a decade of an engine to work on with the Batman Arkham games that is usually, you know, expected to be or, or accepted to be one of the best game mechanics, fighting mechanics of all time. I would certainly argue that that's the case. Um, so I don't really believe that it's like a gameplay issue, like they, they don't know how to make a Batman game, but I think that in regards to story, they probably had issues, you know, I don't know, maybe making us care about this character, I, it, it's hard to tell, I'm just speculating at this point, but the good news is Jason Schreier is not saying that the game has been cancelled and that they're making, I don't know, like some bullshit game, um, he's just saying that it's going to be a different Batman game, which to be quite honest with you, I'm totally okay with. You know, as a fan of the series, I want a great Batman game. I was not opposed to the Damian Wayne Batman game per se, but I was skeptical. I really approached the game as a fan. I was very excited for the game, but only in like a way of intrigue, in the sense that I was intrigued of what it could provide. I didn't know what to expect from it, if that makes sense. I wasn't necessarily enthused about seeing Damian Wayne, you know, in a AAA video game for the first time, right? I think that what they are trying to do is take the game and the series in a new direction, and, and at that rate, I think they should definitely do it. They should definitely include Damian Wayne and include um, these other stories. I think that would be a great thing to do, but really to, to not feature Bruce Wayne is a very odd thing to do. And this begs the question, should this game now be within the Arkhamverse or should it not be if you're talking about Bruce Wayne? And that's a topic for an entire another video. I, I don't want to talk about that right now because that's a very involved topic, to be honest with you, because it's not easy to answer. And that's just something that I'll, I'll talk about at a later date, especially if it's following Arkham Knight. There's issues with, is it sort of retconning Arkham Knight or is it devaluing the impact that that ending had in that game. So I will talk about that at a later point. For now, I'm going to go ahead and end the video and, and basically give you the update that the Damian Wayne game is basically no more. And I, I had speculations of this uh, just on the fact that we haven't heard about it in so long and, and I had seen the pictures probably over a year ago now and those pictures were already very old uh, from the initial like art design so it was concerning to me that the game was not seeming to make any progress and and I was skeptical that this was the case Jason Dreyer is basically coming out and saying now that he has heard 
from sources on the game that the Damian Wayne game has been changed. It's it's not going to be the same thing that we thought it was going to be. My speculation is that it will not be a Damian Wayne game. He does not directly outright say that, but that is probably what we can infer. And my argument is that is not a bad thing. As I said, you look at the title of this video and it seems like it's something that we all as Batman fans would look upon very negatively, but they hadn't given us anything to be excited about in the first place. You know, there's not been any news about it. Um, it's just one of those things where it's not something where we should we should be upset about this. Chances are we should be optimistic about this because what this is showing is that even though it's very frustrating that we haven't gotten a game in so long, it means that they clearly care about quality. You can say a lot of things about the DC games that have come out in the last decade, but what you can't say is that they're terrible or that they don't seem to care if they're any good. That's clearly not the case. Um, the Arkham games are a clear testament to WB's commitment to creating quality that provides value, that are you know deep fleshed out games. And I think that WB clearly has high standards for WB Montreal that perhaps they haven't delivered on. Um, and that's not a bad thing. Definitely, it's frustrating to wait as long as we have, especially when we've been excited as we all have been for a new Batman game. But let's say that they've rebooted this Batman game roughly a year ago since we started hearing about, you know, maybe this has been rebooted. That means that a reveal at E3 is certainly possible, a CGI trailer, you know, and if the studio is as big as it is, 500, Previously, the way they had it set up is that they had half on Suicide Squad, half on Batman. Let's say that this entire massive studio is going full force into this game. And they're just going to focus on this new Batman game. That is an excellent sign. And that means that we could get this game within a realistic time frame. And WB knows that WB Montreal is way behind schedule. You know, think about it from WB's perspective. From Warner Brothers' perspective. They are dumping millions of dollars into this studio every year that is not creating a video game. So you just have net costs and nothing in the earnings pile. It's not that WB is like a greedy corporation that wants to make all this money. They just want to recoup their investment at the very least. At the very least. They just want to make their money back. They're investing millions of dollars every year on payroll and keeping the facility, you know, everything that is associated with creating a video game and they're getting nothing in return. There's going to be pressure on WB Montreal to go all hands on deck to release something, which is not a bad thing. This is not to say that WB doesn't care if the game is any good or not. If they didn't, guess what would have happened? We would have gotten a very shitty Suicide Squad game and we would have gotten probably a very shitty Damian Wayne Batman game because WB Montreal, as they're creating the game, it's not painting out very well, it's not working out. Guess what WB would have said? Yeah, okay, these games aren't very good, but guess what, we're releasing them because we've already invested all this money in the studio and you guys can't go six years without making a game. That's just absurd. That's unheard of. Like even Rockstar doesn't do that and they're creating open world games that are bigger than, you know, anything we've ever seen before with, with more side missions and all this stuff. When did um, GTA 5, it was 2013, yeah, and their new game's coming out in 2018. That's five years, okay? And their studio is not as big as WB Montreal, I'm fairly certain. And the games, you know, we can't expect this Batman Arkham game, or this new Batman game to be of the scope of GTA 5, for good reason, because that would just be absurd. And it's just one of those, it, it's a little bit funny, but it's actually sort of, um, but it should be actually a good sign to us that WB is not just going to publish this garbage and... Maybe, just maybe, we will see a game from WB Montreal within the next decade. And I happen to be quite confident that they're really going to be a lot of pressure on them to create a great Batman game in a very, very reasonable amount of time. Which is, again, as I said, not a bad thing at all. Quite frankly, they deserve a little bit of pressure from the top to release something. Because they have been, they have quite frankly failed on every level to create something. I don't hate WB Montreal. I'm not saying that they're a bad studio. I think Arkham Origins is a solid game, but this is not to say that it makes any sense that they have gone as long as they have without creating something. And I think that we should expect to see something very soon. So that's my thoughts on the Jason Schreier announcement on this Batman game being cancelled slash 
reboot it to be something else entirely. What do you want to see out of this game? And this, this really is something that is uplifting to me as well because it sort of frees us up as fans because we can just talk about what we we want the game to be and not within the confounds of like oh this is going to be a Damian Wayne game obviously they don't ask our opinion before they start making these things they want it to be a surprise but as I said I am almost positive almost 100% positive that the feedback from fans from the game being leaked so early on in development and the feedback being so incredibly mixed was undoubtedly a confounding factor in the game being rebooted. I think that you would probably, I, I would say that you're a little bit naive if you think that all of the people on the internet talking about it on YouTube, on forums, on Kotaku and these, you know, IGN talking about these games, you know, on the Daily Fix, you have, vit, you know, everywhere they're talking about the game. And to say that that had absolutely no effect at all and that WB totally had no idea any of that was happening, I think is is fairly absurd and you probably recognize that fan feedback definitely had an effect on this game being rebooted period and this means that WB is going to aim to give us a game that we maybe actually want as fans not to say I didn't want the Damian Wayne game but nobody really wanted it nobody was like you know what we should do after Arkham Knight we should make a game where his son that has never been established in the Arkhamverse at all besides maybe one line in Arkham City which is debatable uh, I think you all know what I'm talking about, maybe. Um, it, it, you know, this is grounds to create, you know, it's just, it's not what anybody had in mind. And that's basically what I wanted to portray in this video. This is not necessarily something that we should be upset about or sad about. It probably in the long run is going to be a great thing for us Batman fans. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this news and, you know, are you upset or happy about the game being canceled? Let me know all that in the comment section below. My name is Slickmoff and I will see you guys in the next video. Also, be sure to stay tuned for a announcement video coming from myself and Salvage on a new series we're going to be working on. It's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm really, really excited on how it's panning out and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Okay, hope you all have enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.